This video will cover the topic, determining whether an equation defines a function basic. I didn't even know that an equation couldn't define a function, so how can you tell? Well, let's look at this example problem and see how we can. For each of the following equations, determine whether y is a function of x. In the end, what makes an equation a function is that each value of the input, x, must correspond to only one output, or a y value. How can an x value ever have two answers? Good question! Can you think of any math process where we can perhaps have an answer that could be both negative or positive? Um, doesn't squaring numbers do something like that? That's very close, actually. When you have to find the square root of the equation, the answer can either be negative or positive. In other words, equations that follow these formulas, x equals a times y squared plus c, and y squared equals a times x plus c. These equations will not define a function. Do you notice something that both of these examples have in common that you may not normally see in your typical function? Um, they both have y squared in them. Exactly! When determining if an equation is a function, that is the first thing you can look out for. Let's begin with the first function. y equals 6 times x squared minus 1. Step 1. Do we see any signs that this equation is like our two examples? Well, it doesn't have y squared anywhere, so maybe not. Let's test the equation to be sure. We can try x equals 1. So, 1 squared is 1, times 6 is 6, and minus 1 gives us the answer 5. Okay, so the problem doesn't make us find the square root of the output, so this must be a function. Exactly! Now we can move on to y squared equals 9x. Hey, that has y squared in it. That must mean it's not a function, right? You're correct. This equation is not a function, but why don't we plug in x equals 1 into the equation to make sure? Well, that would make the problem be y squared equals 9 times 1, which is the same as y squared equals 9. And when you find the square root of 9, y could be 3 or negative 3, which means it's not a function. It seems like you're getting the hang of this. Let's move on to x equals 8 times y squared plus 4. Wait, I see that this problem has y squared in it, but the equation looks a bit different. You're right. Let's test out an input to see if that matters. We can try x equals 12. 12 equals 8y squared plus 4. So, 12 minus 4 is 8, so we're left with 8 equals 8 times y squared, and 8 divided by 8 is 1. So then we have 1 equals y squared. And, as we saw for the previous problem, y could equal the square root of 1, or the negative square root of 1. So, even though the problem looked a bit different, the output still was y squared in the end, making it not a function. Precisely. And lastly, we have 2x minus y equals 6. Okay, I think I've got this one. So, even if I rearrange the problem to be y equals 2x minus 6, the equation doesn't have the output needing to be square rooted, meaning this is a function. Exactly. Okay, I think I understand. But let me summarize what we did just to make sure. If the equation has y squared in it, or if it has you find the square root of the equation defining the output, then it isn't a function because then the answer could be negative or positive, making an input of x have two outputs of y instead of one. If the equation doesn't look like that, then it is a function? That sounded great. It looks like you have a pretty good idea on how to determine whether an equation defines a function.